What up, what up, YouTube? Pistol Pack and Pilot back here with another video. And today I want to talk about what I'm planning on doing to turn this into this. Stay tuned. <laughs> in the house what's going on i hope everyone's having a great day uh anyways check this out guys look at this got myself a bottle of crown royal but i don't think there's crown royal in it let's see here i'm not gonna pull a pirate stacker and do uh do what uh what he does with the breakfast rum but there's our colossus of Rhodes. What do we got in here, guys? Look at this, look at this, look at this. This, my friends, is the gaw. This right here is the gaw bag. The Crown Royal gaw bag. And this is the stuff that's getting given away. So we got that Colossus of Rhodes. We got the two ounce Fafner. We got the 1982 Libertad. We've got the Antiqued Batavia. We've got the Antiqued Vergild, uh, Vergild Drake. And we got the, uh, Guns up, America, that's so shiny, I can't even hold it directly at the camera without face revealing. But yeah, that is what we got in the gaw, and uh, it's going in the Crown Royal bag. What do you think, guys? Should I, should I throw something else in here? What should I throw in here? What should I throw in here? Because uh, I don't have my 500 subscribers yet. Let's see. How about this? How about this, guys? We'll just throw in a generic. How about that? We'll throw in a uh, one ounce generic buffalo. How's that? We'll throw that in the bag. Add that sucker in there. How you like them apples? Throw all this back into my uh, into my whiskey bag. There you go, guys. This is what you get. 500 subscribers. We're giving away the bottle of Crown Royal. How's that? But anyways, what I wanted to talk about today, guys, was um this how do we turn silver into gold in particular the gold to silver ratio everybody talks about spot price of gold spot price of silver and i'm a newbie i don't know what i'm doing i'll be the first one to admit it so please for the love of god do not take my advice i am just a stupid overpaid bus driver i have absolutely no clue what i'm talking about that being said i'm just going to tell you what I'm planning on doing and what I think is going to work for me. I'm looking at gold as more of a long-term savings. I'm looking at the silver as more of a short-term to mid-term stack. So what I plan on doing is I plan on watching that gold to silver ratio, okay? So what the gold to silver ratio is, for those of you who may not know, is how many ounces of this does it take to make one ounce of this? That's your gold to silver ratio. And right now I wanna say it's somewhere above 70, um, but it fluctuates based off of spot price. That being said, what my plan is, is I wanna generally, if the gold to silver ratio is above 70, 75 ish to one. I'm just going to buy all silver. That's it. I'm not going to really buy any gold unless I come across an amazing deal that I can't pass up. But otherwise, I'm not planning on buying any gold. That's the reason right now I'm still stuck at about like three and a half ounces in my gold stack. I cannot see the logic in buying more gold right now until the gold to silver ratio changes. 
When the gold to silver ratio is between 50 and 75 to 1, so from 50 to 1 to 75 to 1, that's when I'll buy both. So, you know, if I feel like I need some more gold in my stack, maybe I'll buy an ounce of gold. I'll buy silver as well. But when, it, when that ratio is between 50 to 1 to 75 to 1, I'll plan on buying both. And then when the ratio drops below 50 to 1, um, I don't know, maybe I'll do 55 to 1. We'll see. We'll see how I feel with it. But right around that area, that's when I'll buy only gold because that's when the price of silver, fairly high, and the price of gold, in my eyes, would be a better bargain. Also, when that gold to silver ratio drops around, say, I'll probably do like 60, 65 to 1. If we could get that gold to silver ratio to drop down to like a 60 to a 65 to 1, I'll probably consider cashing in some of my kilo bars. I've got some kilo bars in uh, silver. I'll probably consider cashing in some of those kilo bars for an ounce of gold. So you figure if I took two kilos of silver and I had a gold to silver ratio of about 60, 65 to one, I could cash in two kilos for one ounce of gold. So that's kind of what my, what my mindset is right now. I would love to hear you guys' advice, but I think, and I, I really truly believe, and, and I know that there's some some newer guys like me that watch my channel. I also know there's some really experienced guys that are very well respected in the stacking community and have been at the game for a long time. I'd love to hear the opinions of everybody, but I really think the gold to silver ratio is a lot more important to watch than necessarily the exact spot price. Everybody says, oh, silver's Silver's down to, uh, you know, $23 or $22 or whatever. Time to back up the truck. Yeah, that's all fine and well and good. And if that's what you want to do, by all means, do it. But I think there's other things that we need to look at other than just what the spot price is when we talk about the market. And um, if you really want to make your head spin, just check out Juice, man. Juice Stacker. Uh, he's got some analysis of the market that I watch and I'm just like, oh my God, hell, I, I, I comprehended about 30% of that. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's got some great analysis of the market. You, we all could learn a lot from watching him. But anyways, guys, that's my two cents on it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching my video. I am Triple P and I'm out. See ya!